What's going on everybody? I'm so happy to be back and so happy to be in this new setup. It's so much more conducive to actually working in here, uh, but it is more echoey so I have to fix that and I'm not done. I'm going to paint the walls and update a few more things. But this is my first video back since I'm going full time. I just finished my vacation which I worked every single day of, but whatever. I'm full time and I'm super excited for that and I'm happy that this is possible. But to keep that possible I have opened a Patreon account or renewed an old one and if you want to help support the channel and get some stuff in return there is a link down below or you can just go to patreon.com slash bestmedc there are some reward levels there that i think you guys are going to like a lot but it's a way that you can contribute financially to the channel and get some stuff in return so if you're interested in supporting the show there are many many ways you can do that and it doesn't have to be through patreon but it definitely helps also the olight flashlight giveaway that i announced last week has ended it ended last night at midnight and I just drew a winner just a couple of minutes ago, and the winner is Cody Turner. He's actually featured as an honorable mention at the end of this video, complete coincidence. So I used Gleam.io for that giveaway. I just drew a random winner, got rid of all the invalid entries, and Cody Turner is the winner. So congratulations, Cody. I know that I'll be able to get in touch with you because you're very active over in Discord. And also hit up the Discord because there's a lot of stuff going on over there, and it's really cool. There are a ton of people chatting, and I'm so happy to have this community growing and so tight-knit. It's awesome. So Check out the Discord also linked down below. But with that said, this video is brought to you by Rovivon. If you're not familiar with Rovivon, they make these really, really small, super bright flashlights. This one is titanium, but they also come in polycarbonate, aluminum, stainless steel, and a luminous body, which has a red or ultraviolet light side light, which is really cool. They're water and impact resistant, and they're super bright, up to 550 lumens. They have a bunch of different modes. They're really, really nice. I've been carrying one in my pocket every day for months now. So if you want to see more about one or read more about one or purchase one yourself, use the links in the description down below. And if you use the coupon code BESTMEDC, you can get 10% off your purchase. That's for their website, not on Amazon. So if you use the coupon code on Amazon, it won't work. You have to use the coupon code on their website. But with that out of the way, let's get into the show. This week, I wanted to revisit an old topic that I've done several times, but I haven't done it in a while. And this is budget EDC. You guys seem to like those budget EDCs. All of these submissions are also from last month, September. I'm not going to announce the September winner until next week. Since I'm doing all of these on September, I'll wrap everything up from the last giveaway next week, and then we'll start over new. But if you submit from the first on, you're in the October giveaway. So if you haven't done that and you only submitted in September and you didn't win and you want to get in the new giveaway, just submit again. You can use the same picture, it doesn't matter. That's just all you have to do to enter. Just go to edcw.co and submit. All of this said, here is the EDC Weekly. So the first submission this week comes from Joe Berninghausen. You can actually find him over on Instagram at joeb12. And this one's cool because with the exception to the phone, the case, the pop socket, and I believe that key organizer, I've owned all this stuff and I can attest it's really nice for the price you pay. All really good bang for your buck stuff. So first up here, we have the Popov 5 card wallet in Driftwood. He also carries a Kershaw Shuffle 2, and his multi-tool of choice is the Gerber Dime. He uses a Fisher Space pin, and it's in brass, and it has a matte black clip on it. And his phone of choice is the Moto G5 Plus, which he carries in a generic case with a black pop socket on it. He cleans up his keys with an EDC gear key organizer, and on his keychain, he also has a Nitize doohickey. And that's it. Very, very clean, very simple, and not very expensive. I believe in total, minus the phone, we're looking at maybe 80 bucks, 90 bucks here. So pretty cheap. The most expensive thing really on the table other than the phone is the wallet, which can go for about 50 bucks, I believe, 50, 60. Um, but everything else is pretty, pretty affordable. Joe says, I'm very much a gear looker, but I can't be a heavy gear buyer. Everything in here has gone through some different iterations and swap outs. Everything is used daily and normal and some not so normal jobs. Yes, I have board holes in plastic with my knife tip. I've always had a tough time figuring out a key solution, but this one seems to be the best. The knife lives in a DIY Redman sleeve. I work in school, so having a knife belt clip showing sometimes gets a look. The wallet was a gift from my wife after I saw it on your channel, and I love it. Sometimes I have a pocket mod or same style paper notebook stored inside it. Soon to add a light, likely Olight i3T given its size, function, and price. Bonus for using two different types of wood, question mark. Uh, <laughs> and that's kind of funny, most of the submissions this week do feature wood and i've joked in the past maybe not even joked but i've said in the past that i have a penchant for wood uh, nice little bamboo table i've got a wood shelf now a wooden barrel i like rustic wood this isn't necessarily rustic but i have a thing for wood um, but i'm not picking things based on what's in the background necessarily if it looks nice it catches my eye 
But for this one, I literally just chose based on the stuff in the picture and the composition of the picture. It just so happens they're all on wood. So maybe you guys, maybe the amount of pictures submitted with a wood background, because I've said that has changed, but I did not choose anything because it was wood. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, thank you, Joe, for submitting. This is an awesome EDC. You now have a second entry into the September giveaway. The next submission comes from Elmo Barrero. You can find him over on Instagram at elmero.mero. So this EDC also features some stuff I've carried myself and some stuff that I haven't, but I've eyed in the past, especially before I started getting into a little higher end stuff. But first up, we have Warby Parker glasses. Those are the Barnes model. The key clip or key chain or the leather key clip you see there is from Heritage Goods, and he has a random department store wallet. On his keys, he has a Gerber shard as well as an Olay i3e EOS and a SOG key knife. His other knife of choice here is the Kershaw Shuffle in black, and he carries a Fisher Space Pin Bullet in matte black. Elmer says, I work at an elementary school, so I'm limited to what I can carry. I wear glasses and Warby Parker makes affordable glasses. I like leather goods and bought the keychain from Heritage Goods on Instagram. My wallet is just a random department store wallet that I'm looking to replace. I recently got the shard and it comes in handy when removing staples. I carry the Olight because it's small and bright enough. I use the SOG key knife to do minimal cutting of paper, opening boxes, etc. I like the shuffle because it's on the smaller side and doesn't cause panic when I pull it out. I love the bullet, it's super handy and my students also love it they say it's a cool pin because it's tiny and heavy and that it is it is a very tiny heavy pin i love the fisher space pin bullet and uh, i've actually gone back to carrying that over the, the big idea design only because it fits in the card caddy from hitch and timber so love those and and i think most if not all of these this week that are actually featured and not just honorable mentions have a space pin bullet they do so it's a very popular pin glad to see a bunch of them here featured on the channel anyway thank you for submitting elmer you now have a second entry into the september giveaway the next submission comes from reagan hoveling 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 no idea but this one is probably on the upper end of the budget edcs mainly because it has some fossil gear in it and there's a, a victorinox and a zippo and there's just more stuff to this one so naturally it's going to be a little more expensive so it's not the most budget EDC, but it's still budget friendly. So first up here, we have a Fossil 4656 chronograph, and on that, he has a brown leather band with a custom leather cuff. His wallet is also from Fossil. It's a brown slim leather card holder, and the Victorinox you see here is actually a custom Victorinox Explorer. He says he modified it and put pliers and green scales on it. The Zippo you see below that is also a little customized. It has a Thunderbird Butane insert inside. His pin of choice, of course, is the Fisher Space Pin Bullet in matte black with a clip, and he carries Burt's Bees Lip Balm. The flashlight you see here is an Oleg i3T EOS, and beside that, he carries an iPhone 7 in a brown leather case, which I'm presuming he used his phone to take the picture. That's why it's not there. Below that is a beard comb with a bottle opener. It's unbranded and doesn't know which company it's from. He has a brown leather key clip with brass hook, and he has a cheap unbranded key organizer. Next to that, you see a Lego Indiana Jones keychain. And then finally, there is a gentleman's hardware fish pin knife. So, like I said, it's pretty budget friendly, not only because there are so many unbranded things, but most of these things, even the fossil stuff, isn't super expensive, especially compared to other things out there. So it's probably in the same realm as this watch, about 50 to 100 bucks. It's not as your automatic watches go. It's not $150, $200, $300 watches. We see a lot of those. So I still consider Fossil to be fairly budget friendly, especially if you want something a little nicer. But again, the Olight here, that's a $20 flashlight. The pen is about $16, $17. Most of the other stuff is unbranded. I don't know about the beard comb, but most of this is very budget friendly. Reagan says, Hi mate, my name is Reagan. I'm a geotechnician and from Australia. I'm a big fan of you and both your channels. The theme for my EDC is leather, which in my opinion is the best material known to man. Can't argue with that. Starting with my fossil watch with a brown leather strap and a custom leather cuff I made and dyed. I think it looks great and has a durable chronograph, which goes good with pretty much anything I wear. A fossil slim card holder wallet, which also is leather and is great for carrying just the minimal things like my ID bank card and my beard comb with a bottle opener. My lucky four leaf clover Zippo, which I use every single day because I'm a smoker, unfortunately. I am a massive Victorox fan. I think the knives and multi-tools are great. I chose the green scales on my custom Swiss Army knife because green is my favorite color and in my opinion, looks great. 
I use the Fisher Space Pen Bullet for filling out paperwork and writing down notes for work. The Olight i3T EOS is an awesome small EDC torch because I love the clip being able to put it on the brim of your cap. And the two brightnesses are awesome for working or reading in the dark. The keychains with leather, lanyard, and clip, a Lego Indiana Jones, the fish pin knife from Gentleman's Hardware is great for opening letters, packages, etc. I think it looks unique and vintage, which is the theme throughout my EDC. Looking forward to more of your videos and thanks for the opportunity to send you my EDC and to see others mentioned also. Thank you, Reagan, and you now have a second entry into the September giveaway. The fourth and final featured submission this week comes from Tate Snow. You can find them over on Instagram at Tayton Snow. T-A-Y-T-E-N Snow 0228. And this one is also pretty simple. It's not very over the top and mostly budget friendly. First up here, we have a custom undone urban watch. I don't know about that one. I will be upfront. I don't know about the undone watch. I did not look up the price of that beforehand. But beside that is a Levi's wallet, which goes in line with that, you know, random department store wallet. Levi's wallets are one of those. The phone of choice here is a Samsung S7, which he carries in a punk case. The knife he uses is a Spyderco Tenacious, and the Fisher Space Pin Bullet is his pin of choice. He also has a three inch titanium widgie pry bar, a key screw set, and finally, Cherry Carmex. Again, very simple, mostly budget, like the Spyderco Tenacious is among some of the cheaper Spydercos if you don't go into the bird line. You can find the Spyderco Tenacious at Walmart for like 35 bucks, and that is a steal for that knife. And I think these Widgie Pry Bars, you can get a multi-pack of them for like 12 bucks. Mostly affordable. Tate says, there isn't much to say about my pocket dump. I use the watch to tell time, wallet to carry money and cards. The knife is mostly used tool, whether fiddling, cutting, the Fisher Space Pin Bullet is an essential, as I always seem to forget things. Screws are held together. He's talking about the screwdrivers are held together via S beaner and used in housework and small projects. The pry bar is used to scrape things off of surfaces, toy with, I clean fingernails with, LOL. The phone case is used daily as I am a lifeguard. The chapstick is an essential, whether it's hot outside or the girls are feeling wild. Okay, my job is around the block, so I do not need to carry my car keys. Thanks for the series revival, I'm addicted. And if you find more time, please upload more videos, possibly daily. JK, keep up the good work. Thank you, Tate, and thank you for this cool submission. And it's good to see these people out there who carry normal stuff, who don't carry $200 knives or $500 knives. It's good to see, you know, sometimes it's good to reel it back in and carry some budget stuff because Budget does not mean bad. It doesn't mean that it's as good as something like a, it doesn't mean it's as good as something like a $200 or $300 knife. It's probably not made to the same specification, but it gets the job done just fine. And if you break it, you just buy another. If you break a $200 knife, you're probably not gonna go out and buy another $200 knife immediately. Or if you do, you're gonna put a lot of more effort and thought into what you're gonna you know, buy and probably be a little hesitant to use it again, unless that's just you. Some people do that, some people freak out about using a $200 knife to open a package. I got a lot of comments privately about my last unboxing where I used a Kaiser Sheepdog to open an envelope. I did it because it's overkill, but still, people are like, why would you do that? You have so many box cutters. I do, but anyway, the point is, budget is not bad. Anyway, thank you, Tate. You now have a second entry into the September giveaway. And now we're gonna get into the honorable mentions for this week. And rather than going through these in depth, I'm just gonna talk about them really quickly and why they were not featured, but why they are honorable mentions. This first one comes from Sebastian Trodlin. Names are really tough sometimes. But this one, uh, I would say it's mostly budget friendly. And that's one of the things that I, I picked about it is, you know, it's got a wooden pencil here and a pen, like a Sharpie. He says this is the German version of Sharpie basically. But the Spyderco here is the Spyderco Revival, I believe, and it's like 50, 60 bucks. Not super expensive. The Ray-Bans are probably the most expensive thing here, unless that screwdriver is, you know, a wild card, which it could be. It could be a wild card. But anyway, mostly budget friendly, wasn't totally sure. And there were definitely more budget friendly options. So that one's, that's why this one got, you know, pushed down. It's very unique, jumped out at me, but not quite as budget friendly as some of the others. Next up we have August Tranberg. Tranberg, again, not sure. This one is not budget friendly, mainly because you've got um, an Apple Watch, Apple AirPods, and the iPhone. Those are typically seen as more up, upper end, high end stuff. I don't know about the other things in this picture. I did not actually pick this one for this week. It was actually an honorable mention last week and got bumped off the list. Um, no good reason, it was just it didn't fit the theme quite as well. The next one is from Cody Turner. I know his stuff is budget from his chats in Discord because he talks about you know saving money on the stuff he buys. He buys a lot of it from eBay, he'll buy stuff used, 
Again, nothing wrong with that, but another reason this one didn't make it, AirPods, Apple Watch, and the Travax wallet. Travax wallet is, you know, 60, 70, 80 bucks, depending on which one you get. Some of them over $100. Not necessarily super budget friendly, very close, but it didn't quite make the cut. And again, congrats on winning the OLED Cody. Uh, we'll be in touch. I'll ban you from Discord again just for fun, but you'll still get an OLED, so whatever. All right, next up we have Tyson McNeil. This one is really cool because it's different. It is a bag dump, I think for the most part. Uh, I'm not really featuring bag dumps yet, but again, this one, it was just a really nicely composed photo. A little busy, but it's just something you don't see very often here on the EDC Weekly. Next up is Carlos Tellez. And this one I just picked because it's clean. It's not quite budget friendly, mainly because of Leatherman Surge. That's a pretty expensive multi-tool and you've got a G-Shock watch. So not the most budget friendly, but not super expensive either. Next up is Dan D'Onofrio. He has a CRKT Squid, which is the first thing I was like, ooh, Squid, this is a budget EDC. But when you take a little closer look, you've got a Bellroy wallet, so not budget friendly, a TI Scribe pen, which is an $80, $90 pen, and then he has an Invicta watch. So not budget friendly, um, but that is one of the most budget friendly knives out there. That's pretty popular. I think the Polar is really taking over CRKT's budget lineup over the Squid, but still budget friendly knife, not a budget friendly setup exactly. Next up, the final one is Enrique Garcia. This one is really nice. It's not budget friendly at all. I mean, the key organizer is 40, 50 bucks. Um, you've got a firearm here, Apple AirPods, and pretty unique stuff but none of this, I believe that's a Wii Knives knife, but he doesn't say anything about the knife in his description of, of his products listed. I did see this one first on Instagram, so I went and flagged it in the list, but not a ton of information on what this all is, so I didn't feature it, but still a really cool setup and thanks for sharing. Thank you all for sharing. Anybody featured in this video gets a second entry into the September giveaway. You cannot enter the September giveaway anymore since it is October. So if you want to get in on the next giveaway, which is still gonna feature a Griffin Pocket Tool, a Roe Vivon Aurora flashlight, a Key Smart Rugged, a Hitchin Timber Runt, a Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Organizer, and a Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Tool. If you want to win all of that, or a chance to win all of that, go to edcw.co and submit. That will put you into the running for an October giveaway. It's gonna be all the same stuff. So go to edcw.co and submit. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos and be sure to follow us around the web. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at BestNDC. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Casper Tech. And once more, if you want to help support the show, go to patreon.com slash BestNDC. You can see all the reward levels there. Every little bit helps. And if you don't want to do that, just use the links down below. Anything you click on, if it takes you to Amazon or sometimes other websites, those are affiliate links we get a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps keep the lights on and afford to make new episodes and grow the channel. So please consider using those links if you like anything in this video and want to check it out. With that said, until next time, carry on.